with uh, Mr. Drama Man. Uh, he's released his new uh, album, Resurrected, and yeah. it's up on CD Baby and what was the other? Uh... Yeah, it's on CD Baby and, and like iTunes and Spotify and a bunch of other, you know, a bunch of other apps. I, I got the distribution deal with them. I just put it on there. Cool. And uh, me, and, me and Drama Man used to work uh, together. Um, it's been a while. It's been a while, yeah. But anyway, he's back on the scene. I'm glad he hasn't given up what he does because he's really, really talented. He's worked probably by my star fucking people that I uh, used um, yeah. or, or recorded anyway. Um, he's the man. He's definitely the man. And let's just get a picture. Yeah, have a look at that album cover that he's releasing it. Like I said, you can pick, you can pick that up anywhere. You know, like CD Baby. Do you have a website to iTunes, on Spotify. Um, I, I have a Reverb Nation page. If you go to Reverb Nation slash uh, Drama Man, all my shit's on there. There's free downloads, you know, all kinds of free downloads. If you can't afford to buy the album, man, that's cool. I, I got download cards. I gave Limey one because he's my boy. If you're yeah. my boy, if you're cool, that, buddy. I give you a free download card if I see you. I gave some guy the other, at the gas station one the other day, man. That's how I do it. That's cool. I don't care about the money, man. I, I'm just in this for it. I love doing it. But you're I'm doing awesome. it right, though. That's that's awesome, though, that you oh, actually yeah. like care. Because not a lot of people uh, charge for their music, and yeah. you've got to make something out of it, like hungry yeah, music. I mean, I put it up online, you know, for people around the world to buy if they want it. You right. know what I mean? But, you know, if I know you, you know. Well, let, me, let me ask you a little bit about the, uh, like, who helped, did anyone help you out on that, that, that album? Well, I, I was hoping to work with you again, but I, I got, my boy Obsessed helped me in, in SG. They did a couple verses on it. You've, you've, you've worked with SG before, right? Yeah, I've worked with them too before. They're pretty talented artists. Yep. SG's talented. Obsessed, and Sess is a really good beat maker. He's, really he's, he's the one that did the mixing on your album? Yeah, he did the mixing on Go 8. I mixed okay. all the rest of it, and then... Um, What's this track we're listening to in the background? This is Go Ape, and uh, the beat was done by one of the students I work with. Just to tell you the truth, I'm getting like a brain fart right now. I can't remember his name, but That's cool. We'll, we'll pick that one up later and give him yeah. a plug. But, um, but I want to start... Matt, didn't Matt do? Or is he obsessed? Uh, obsessed. Obsessed just mixed it for me. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he was track, a really good beat, I mixed beat, all the other tracks. But what I want to do is some live shit. I want to start playing this live again because... Awesome. I want to get with you and start doing live music again. Like, Hell yeah, you to do some drums and keyboards. And uh, I want to play this stuff live, you know, to promote it. And just, I just love playing out. It's fun. Cool. You know That's what what's I mean? up, man. So, like, uh, anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about that. We're, we're gonna go out and do, do some live stuff. I mean, like, how are you gonna make it different, like? How are you gonna make it different from all the people that are coming in? Oh man, you know? because I got you, man. That'll make a difference for one, because you're nasty on the drums. Right. And then we can get you playing the keyboards. Oh, I appreciate you saying that. And man. even you, you even play guitars. And my shit's different than everybody's. Like it's. You not... remember that drama? We played some place in uh, Philly one time, and I played keyboards and drums at the oh, same yeah, at the same time. Everybody was coming <laughs> up to us after the show, and yeah. like, damn man, that was dope. That was awesome. Actually, you know, yeah. people wanted to work with us, like, because that was from one fucking show. I mean, imagine if we played all these shows and just kept going, man. We would, we would definitely something big would happen for now, sure. Now I'm observing here. I'm sitting next to drama, and he looks totally different from the skinny little runt that left uh, this yeah, place. Yeah. So what's going on with that? Well, well, what happened that quick, was, quick plug, we, stopped, we stopped recording when I was around 26 or so. Okay. And I just like, I got tired of like smoking weed and drinking and doing shit all the time. Oh yeah, you grew up, man. I just got into fitness, man. I did that shit for a while. Now, didn't you I go, didn't did you go somewhere? Me. Sorry to interrupt you, but you went somewhere to go do that. Well, I moved to Florida for a while. And That's I, right. I became yeah. a personal trainer and I did that shit for a while. But, you know, that's just one of my passions. Let's just have a quick look. I'm going to focus up to this thing here. This boy is ripped, dude. Yeah. So you're a personal <laughs> trainer. Look at these buffs. Yeah, I got some fucking guns. Look at those on. guns. <laughs> fucking A, right? So, but... And that, is that what you're yeah. doing? Do you do that for your uh, drop down here now, Toronto? What? Do you do, um, you do um, personal training? Yeah, I do personal training. I'm actually going to train one of my nephews tomorrow. Right. So I do that now too, and uh. But don't you do that as well for like a, uh, a fitness place, a gym? Don't you work? Well, I work out at Rich Retro Fitness. There you go. I've done some physique modeling a little bit, just nice. a little bit, like yeah. you know, nothing major. And I and I actually uh, did a show last year. I competed in. I didn't do so well, but I didn't have a coach. But I mean, I did all right. But it was you know, it's a no, lot no steroids though, right? Nah, of course not. Nah, you're clean. That's what I'm talking about. So yeah. uh, this man does it for real. A lot of creatine, a lot of food. Just eat, eat. Is I that eat, what it I is? I eat like seven times a day. It's just fucking crazy. Like I gotta eat soon. 
So you're going to keep that stamina up if you put your, your uh, projects on the road? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. I think that'll help, actually. That'll help me perform on stage, because I've always had asthma, but with working out and doing cardio and all that shit, that, that helps. Yeah, that's Because on stage, you get fucking tired, man. Ain't right. nothing like performing, you know that. Oh, I hell, I know that, man. You know the drum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You drum a couple songs, hey, you're I, fucking I taught, pissing. I taught water's pissing years. out of you, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, uh... So listen, let's, let's get this. Let's, let's plug this uh, drama album. It's resurrected. Uh, how many tracks do you get on that resurrected album? Oh, uh, it's an EP. There's six tracks. Six uh, tracks. Most of them were produced and mixed by me. Cool. Um, Obsessed helped me on one of them, and then uh, this guy on Shadowville helped me with a couple uh, tracks. That's uh, cool. Are these guys that are going to go on the road with you, or? Well, I like. I already have an idea who I want to go on the road with me. I mean, I know right. you, me, and then you know from there. I haven't really come, you know, I haven't got that far yet. You got any you know? backing or any sponsors or anything yet? Not yet, but... Not yet, because it only just came came to your yeah, life. Yeah, I just started, I just put it together. Started thinking about going on it. life, yeah. And truthfully, I've been working and working out and stuff, and I just started getting back into music. Like, I just started back into it. That's so. what's up. So this is like, yeah. this is like a... Uh, a decision you made like I, I think it's cool actually like I was you know seeing some of the ratings like he's, he's making money on this stuff as well so it's yeah not like... I'm selling a couple copies here and there you know what I mean but like I don't have the I'm not promoting it really right yet I'm just starting to promote it again cool so like I think if I promoted it the right way and got some sponsors and did some shows it would definitely do good because it's one of the best albums I've ever recorded other, yeah, me, other than my palace in hell do, which do, I do me a favor good. click on one of those other tracks as yeah. well as we're sitting here yeah, I hear a little bit more of those samples we're getting you like a free pre preview of this getting yeah. drama back into like trying to I, handle, I had the wrong, handle a keyboard I had the wrong mouse <laughs> that's all good there. yeah 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 that happens to me a lot yeah there you go this there's one, got some real tasty tracks in here man yeah yeah I appreciate it bro kind, this, kind of diverse as well it's not I made all. this beat myself as well this is called um uh yeah. Built for War. Okay, what's that and about? SG killed it on here. Like, I gotta give him props. What, what's Built for War about? Uh, it's basically talking about I'm built for war. Like, I've been through a lot of shit. And, like, I'm built for fucking anything, bro. You can't throw anything to knock me down. You can fucking knock me down. People died around me. I almost got murdered. I, I gotta, say, I gotta have your back on that one. This guy did not, was not scared. I pretty, he was probably one of the only white rappers around in the area. He was not scared to go up. People used to bust on him. He didn't care. He didn't yeah, care. You know, one guy that But one you used time, to stand up strong for what you were. Yeah, I, 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 I got it was behind. shit where, where guys didn't want me on stage. Like, sure they didn't. It was... I'm not gonna say it's a race thing because it's not. But like, ah, to a certain, I think it's just a hater thing. To a certain degree. Like, yeah, certain, let's get this thing out of the way, Yeah, <laughs> we'll fix that. We can edit that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. some guys don't want you, man. They be, they be just hating on you. Right. And if they think they get jealous because they, they see you spitting better than them and they can't do it. So. And I'll be, t I'll contest that as well. Yeah, yeah. I was there for some of that get, stuff. Yeah, you know how it is, man. Yeah. Bullshit, yeah. but. But I think that's just. You gotta jealousy. rise above it. You gotta rise above it. That's it, my man. And if you can't go this way. Way, on the road, you go the other way. Cool. You can't get through this roadblock, you go the other way. Go around it, go by. Right. That's what's up. Right. All right, well, what's up? Name some of the other tracks on that um, oh, uh, we EP. Got Built for War. We got, um... So what's Go Ape about? That's a great track, mate. Oh, uh, Go Ape's the same sort of thing. It's kind of like talking about how... Um, how I'm at my lowest point. I wrote it down in Florida, believe it or not. I was poor. I had like five dollars in my account. I was ready to fucking kill myself. I said, yo, you cannot win unless you learn how to lose. Wow, you stooped that low, huh? That was yesterday's news. Today on front page news talking about, you know what I mean? I gotta, I've, I've reached my lowest point. Now it's time to go and go high. That's what's up, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. That's basically what the song's about, so. Are you gonna put it on YouTube? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Is it recording? Yeah, it's recording. But yeah, we're going on YouTube. We're gonna go live. We're gonna go viral with this stuff. But um, so to talk about eight, eight was uh, same kind of uh, as the other track you said. Yeah, it's like an underdog track talking about you know how I'm gonna fucking rise up and just and just be better, man. I'm just gonna like take this downfall and use it as a positive to rise up. And I haven't stopped looking back ever since. That's what's up, man. I, I came back to Jersey because, you know, I got my people here, my boy Limey, who I love. Yay. Fucking talented motherfucker. Plays drums, guitar, classically tra trained pianist, best fucking piano player. Did you say pianist or pianist? Pianist. Because uh, you're good at pianist. <laughs> <laughs> nah, thanks, brother. Nah, thanks I'm for the fuck. Uh, for real, though. 
I mean, my family's back here, my niece, my nephew. That's what's up. And I'm built for war, man. Let's I can't believe that. Let's, 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 praise, let's put some praise down there with you. Look at that shit. I just want to put in there. Dharma's, Dharma's mom has come back from something that's incredible. I'm oh, yeah. very, very blessed for that that's one. That's another huh? thing I went through. Yeah. The cancer um, with my mom last year, man, that was tough. But she's a survivor, man. You know, like, yeah. so many people, you know, don't get through that process. No. I'm so happy, man. I'm so happy yeah, for her. So happy really, for you. It's really good that she's great news, brother. Man. I wouldn't. I tell you what, if it wasn't for my mom, I'd be dead or in jail. That's absolutely right. Just no, the way it is. Contest for that I was one again. fucking crazy, girl. She always had and your she back. She always had my back, exactly. Yeah. And I wouldn't have been able to do any of this shit without her. That's so what's up. Credit to my mom, definitely. She's without first. a doubt. Yeah, and and credit, credit to the other boys on your fucking your and track. Credit to you and, and all the boys. Well, if it wasn't for you, too, I wouldn't have got this far in music. Hey. Not only this, this boy taught me how to mix and, and, and do all that shit. Like master tracks, mix tracks. Yeah. I remember we went to see David Ivory on my palace in hell. Still class. That's guy. right. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was. He did. He did the uh, mastering on it. I yeah. made an incredible job of it, man. He oh, brought yeah, that up dude. twentyfold. Yeah. Fucking awesome. Yeah. So, uh, so that's the man. He, he did uh, Erica Badu, The Roots. Uh, those oh, are yeah. national acts. And uh, that, it's funny. After I worked with him, I'm like, oh, I'm blowing up now. I'm gonna go on tour. I'm gonna do it. You know, I had this in my head, and then I just, I don't know. I just, I hit a downfall after that, where I got real depressed. Yeah. And then my nephew was born. That's so why I was like, man, I'm just going to start working out and fuck all this music shit. Like, I got to the point where I let it defeat me. Yeah, but it's in your blood, man. But you yeah, you just you go back to your passion, man. It's just what you love. Yeah. And I fucking love it, bro. Like, you do. And I know you do, too. Like, it's not about money with us. It's about nah. just doing it because we love it. It's about the passion behind it, right? And, like, being on stage and performing for people, even if I didn't get paid, if there's 100 people in front of me and they're all into it, that's, like, there's no greater feeling than that, man. That's what's up. Also, we got like, um, are you going to do, do videos for most of these tracks? Yeah, these cr tracks are incredible. I've done, I did one for Built for War myself, but I'd like to get a little better production on videos. Uh, I'm kind of still getting that down. Okay. Uh, so let me ask like you a question. Is there someone special you wanted to work with? Like anyone that you, uh, you know, like anyone that like you see up there, you know, that's... Uh, like the mainstream machine? Mainstream, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck Someone yeah, that you would man. like to like give a plug out to, maybe give a shout out to make a little Nas listen. is my favorite rapper of all time. Nas, I love to work with that dude. All right. I mean, he's getting older, he's been doing a while. Fucking love to work with Eminem, of course. And also, I, I, I played you some of that, played that guy Cardiff There's tracks. There's this dude, yeah. He's I mean, cool. This dude Carter that he played me. I'm, Cardiff. Cardiff? Cardiff, yeah. It, Sorry, dude. I just love this like, guy. I, yeah, he's, he's awesome. I would love to work with him. I mean, he's probably one of the dopest ones I've ever heard. And there's this other guy. Um, oh, What the fuck was his name? I'm getting a brain fart right now, man. So we'll go, we'll go back to this bug. Yeah, there's a there's a bunch of artists I'd like to work with, though. All right, we'll go back in five minutes. All right, we are back with the uh, drama man here. Yeah. Uh, what was the name of that? Um, you're going to give plugs out and some shouts out to that, yeah, that so beat maker. Obviously, SG helped me on this track. He's been a nasty verse. And then I had Evolution Beats that did the two beats on this album. And then Matt Obsessed did a verse and he, he mixed one of my tracks. So we want to give him credit. And uh, like we said about artists I want to work with, I would like to get back with Brittany again and start working with her. And uh, That's Brittany Portella, by the way. Brittany Portella, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. She's nasty. She's and you can go, fucking sick. You can go to our website as well. Uh, I'm actually setting one up for her, britainbordella.com, uh, you can get all her latest stuff, all her touring, touring material and tracks, but uh, very talented, yep. very talented, good singer dude, she plays guitar, I think she plays bass and guitar, yeah, she does, she's yeah. nasty, and uh, sings, I think like if we had her on stage, you on stage, me, and a couple of more of your uh, new artists that you can work with, dude, we could put together some concerts that would match some of the mainstream shit, I, I have no doubt my mind. No doubt. And I'm not just saying that because me. I'm saying like the artists we have are just phenomenal. Like this one right here, SG. You can find him on Reverb Nation too. Just type in SG or Smoke G. I think it's under SG, but um, his shit. He had his shit up to the to the point where he was like number two artist. Nice. Like he was really popular at one point because he was promoting. He's real good at that. So if we can get him to promote some of our stuff and 
start doing videos. All right. Cool. So let's wrap this up. This is Drama Man. This is uh, Resurrected. This is what he just came out with. Um, he's looking to be signed. You know, he's uh, obviously an independent uh, yeah, I mean, artist. It doesn't matter. Doesn't really care too much about that. But the signage. <laughs> I used would, to care about that. The signage would be nice because yeah. even if it's an independent, because it will give the tour support. I mean, uh, he's working with Br uh, Brittany Bordella. Uh, he's also going to work with Dark Angels. Uh, yeah. We're, we're going to help him out on that part of it. We're also going to make some videos for him. Um, you know, grats of the uh, grats of Dark Angels. Um, we're yeah, going to see him out and talk. A few sponsors will be nice, and just to, yeah, just to get out there and do some live shit again. Nice, it's just fucking. That's what I'm looking forward to, man. Yeah, and let me tell you, this boy's a talented, dude. So I mean, like, nice, or dudes and dudettes. If you get the chance to see him, please go out and see him. We'll plug his album one more again. Drama, baby. This I actually downloaded today on CD Baby. He gave me one of those download cards, and it was a real quick, easy download. Um, just have to sign in, redeem your card. Here's the card. Just show you a quick buzz of that one there. Yep. Oh, we're not going to focus, but it's <laughs> it's all right. No, <laughs> You'll send one out to you. Is there yeah. an email for someone can contact you at? Yeah, jefflio at live.com. It's J-F-F-L-E-O at L-I-V-E dot com. And you can also hit him up on, uh, well, actually, you can, hit, you can hit him up through uh, Dark Angels as well. We, we have all of our uh, email. Yeah, exactly. uh, Dark Angels on YouTube. Also, we've got the murder. We've got, uh, I think you've got a uh, YouTube channel, right? Yeah, YouTube slash drama, the one. I got a lot of, I got into the fitness for a while. There's a lot of, like, bodybuild bullshit on there, too. If you don't like that, you can skip through. You can look for my videos. I have some music stuff on there too but as i get more into it i'm going to be posting more live shit live videos and we'll also help him out with that we're going to post yeah. some stuff for him as well yeah this guy's a good good job he does a good job with the videos so i'm going to work with him with that too all right so, so signing off for drama man thank you for coming in for the interview man we, yeah. by the way we're in the new tour vehicle here Fucking which we'll right, be touring dude. in here it is the beauty yeah Fully blind. We got okay, the we got right, nice baby. small studio in the background here. Yep. We're just fitting up here, but you can't probably see that. <laughs> yeah, Either way, we got some good space going on. But anyway, thank Tom for coming in. Thank you. We appreciate thank the interview. You. And uh, be looking out for his album. Dark Angels are out.